the KGB UFO files reveal Russian pilot uh, fighter planes encounter UFOs that move like nothing man-made. The files that Russian pilots found strange lights in the sky and soldiers witnessed objects moving as if out of this world. Cold War era archives reveal that not only was the U.S. experiencing strange object encounters in the sky, but the same UFO phenomenon was being seen in the Soviet Union. This is evidenced by the existence of dozens of reports of Russian soldiers, aviators, and pilots as they observed creepy shapes, huge objects, bright lights, and mysterious flashes. Some of the more striking KGB UFO files reports include a Russian colonel reporting a shape-shifting object that shot a beam of light, light towards the ground. Others recount how a MiG-21 pilot was baffled by a mysterious object and the way that the object moved, according to the Sun reports. Dmitry Rogozin, head of Roscosmos, recently confirmed that Russian pilots have also encountered mysterious craft and said that Moscow is investigating UFOs as well, and the, these KGB files discovered after they were first sent to Major General Pavel Popovich seems to point in that direction. They were provided to The Sun, UAP Media UK, a campaign group dedicated to investigating and working towards a more serious and transparent discussion of UFOs. These translated reports may not provide a nice clear answer to UFOs, but they do provide a counter to the common fallacy that strange objects in the lights are only a US-centric phenomenon, commented Graham da Rendell from UAP Media UK, a researcher who has, who has written books on the subject. He said, mysterious craft have been seen around the world, including in a country run by a regime known for hiding inconvenient truths. The blue folder, Russia's KGB UFO files, Major General Popovich was one of the first 20 cosmonauts, losing only to Yuri Gagarin for the honor of becoming the first man in space. He commanded the Vostok 4 spacecraft, which flew into space for four days in August 1962, and then trained the next generation of Soviet spacemen. His wife, Colonel Marina Popovich, was also an avid UFO hunter, as well as a legendary supersonic test pilot known as Madame Mig. She wrote a book on the subject, campaigned for disclosure, and claimed that Moscow was in possession of at least five UFO fragments. Both called for more disclosure on the issue until their deaths in 2009, Pavel and 2017 Marina, with Madame Mig planning to lobby the US government on UFOs before her death. After first being delivered to Pavel October 24, 1991, the more than 100 pages of documents known as the Blue Folder finally appeared in the West. The Blue Folder documents were delivered to him only 63 days before the total collapse of the Soviet Union. The Major General received the documents, which, although they did not systematically investigate, the so-called unidentified flying objects recorded the unusual activity in the Soviet skies. Vadim Bakatin, who was a final chairman of the KGB until its eventual disintegration, was the one who sent him the files. Startling reports include eyewitness accounts of UFOs in Burkala, Magadan, who saw a bright red object appear for 30 minutes, October 21, 1989. One of the witnesses who said is said to have been uh, working at the Baikonur Cosmodrome Space Center, estimated that the object was moving at about 600 miles an hour. He commented that none of the flying devices he knew could perform such movements, the document reads. The object was described as being in the shape of a cigar or a fish and surrounded by nine lights, and the shape was reportedly observed by two groups of eyewitnesses from two separate points in the area. Another of the most striking accounts is that of Lieutenant Valery Voloshin, who described seeing a disc-shaped object with half-sphere on top. On July 28, 1989, Soviet commanders rushed to intercept it with a drone, combat with the, but the pilot was unable to get close enough to the UFO, which had previously been seen above missile silos, hurtling 
beams towards the ground. Voloshin claimed that his captain had sent word of a flying saucer and even provided a sketch of the object showing an unmistakable disc shape. The lieutenant said the movements of the object were somewhat irregular, sometimes moving quickly sideways or vertically. There's also a case where a plane reported to the control tower having had a mysterious encounter with a pill-shaped space craft, like a tic-tac. Now, while the accuracy and veracity of these KGB reports of the UFO sightings in the 1980s can never be 100% verified, they are a treasure trove of information revealed, revealing a dark Cold War secret. Military personnel and ordinary Russian citizens also frequently saw UFOs. In many cases, the original Kyrillic letters and statements are included with drawings and sketches of the object seen, Rendell said. Ignore the differences in writing to alphabets, and they closely resemble the reports found in the old USA Air Force Project Blue Book documents from 1950s and 60s. The Soviets were clearly looking for answers to the phenomenon, he concluded. And this is on Infinity Explorers by Anshavastava. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.